The police helicopter that's uh, coming up now. Joe, if you want to call the, that chopper, the police chopper, and let them know. We're at 103rd Street and I-95 southbound. Again, a police pursuit, or at least what started as a police pursuit. As you can see, we'll bring the camera back out here a little bit here so you can see how fast this vehicle is traveling, uh, trying to elude the police. And uh, at the time that we, uh, when we first came on the air with these pictures, uh, we were hearing indications that the ground crews, the, the people on, in uh, vehicles on the ground behind it, had not been able to keep up with it and had lost it in the area of 67th Avenue. But this is this this is definitely uh, the vehicle. All right. I'm being told that we have a ground crew that's down on the area up round of 79th Street. There's the Channel 7 live truck. Right. You see it right there as it zips past that live truck going southbound on I-95. So again. A very dangerous situation here on the eye as this uh, vehicle now in the breakdown lane, passing vehicles at a, a pretty speedy clip here. I'm looking at my GPS right now, indicate the speed indicator is over 100, 100 something miles an hour now. So we are going to continue to follow this vehicle. It's now making a U turn, making up, up, up making a U turn. All right. Looks like it's at a storage, uh, one of those U Haul yeah, storage it, facilities, and turning around, right, going it, on the It's about 93rd Street, going back down the ramp at 95th Street now here. Uh, uh, the wrong way against traffic here. You can see traffic oncoming right there as it's going to be making a left-hand turn going towards 7th Avenue. A very, very dangerous situation here. Uh, there's the, uh, the, <laughs> that's the gas station where I buy my gas. Crossing uh, 7th Avenue, 95th Street. Uh, again, uh, going westbound here, coming up to... Going to be going by... Uh, North Shore Hospital here on our on our left hand side as we go uh, westbound there again uh, now coming into uh, more of a uh, off the highways and on the surface streets here but again a vehicle that was being pursued by uh, officers from a couple of municipalities including uh, or we originally heard from Hialeah and also from uh, Miami-Dade police they put a description out of this vehicle saying that it was traveling at a high late rate of speed Come had uh, nearly down. struck several vehicles including a, uh, striking a, a police officer's vehicle they call that uh, a, a battery on a police officer when a, when a vehicle like that struck, strikes a vehicle when it's trying to flee so again uh, we're going to continue to monitor this uh, situation here it's coming up now on uh let's see this is going to be uh, right off of uh, central miami central uh, senior high school going past that westbound again on 95th street coming up that would so that would be 17th avenue or 22nd 22nd avenue next intersection is going to be 27th avenue and i believe the driver is going to go probably go straight through that intersection let's we'll continue to follow this obviously for you unknown how many people are in that vehicle but again Police wanted to stop this vehicle. It had come back as listed as stolen. Police officers spotted it, tried to stop it, and it fled. So we now know that the uh, that we now understand that the uh, uh, police department, uh, Miami-Dade, has launched one of their helicopters. They are in this area now, trying to pick up this uh, uh, vehicle, and they'll be guiding the ground. Uh, units uh, to apprehend the suspect of this vehicle now who's made some pretty dangerous moves here as he continues to blow through traffic lights here now uh, southbound on 27th Avenue this vehicle is now southbound from 95th Street on 27 Avenue um, let's see where we're going to what we're going to come into any traffic here there's no traffic uh, right now going southbound in front of him, just a couple of vehicles here but he's been zipping around vehicles on either side again uh, we warn viewers at home that this is a live uh, broadcast of Okay, the Metro helicopter, I'm looking out my window now. I can see him out my window, and he's going to be, uh, he's now tracking the vehicle. I'll bring the camera back here wide enough just so we can see if we can get him in the picture, too, here. Right here at this intersection, top of the screen there, you'll see the helicopter as he goes by right there. So the vehicle is now across the intersection here at 71st Street and is still southbound on 27th Avenue. And uh, the, the, the police uh, chopper there is up keeping an eye on it and trying to direct uh, the ground assets to uh, take this person into custody. We continue to watch uh, this ve uh, vehicle as it tries to flee and elude police here. Southbound 27th Avenue, our next intersection, I'm sorry, now our next intersection is going to be 79th Street. I misspoke earlier. It's turned off now and going into a, uh, a, sh a shopping center parking lot. Uh, yeah, thanks, Joe. Uh, there, there, it's a it's good place is a shopping center. I'm look, trying to get a name for you, but I can't write it now. You, you can see the vehicle here. Uh, just past the Dollar Tree and the flea market here, 27th Avenue and 79th Street. Again, a vehicle wanted by police, uh, uh, apparently reported stolen a little earlier today. It was at least on what they call the Bolo board. That's to be on the lookout for things. When things are stolen like that, uh, they, re they report that information to all the agencies 
in Dayton Broward County every day. They kind of update that. Again, now, 79 and 27 westbound, 79th Street, 27. There's the uh, uh, Metro Rail uh, tracks there that go westbound in towards Hialeah. So, again, still the, the police officers are, uh, police chopper is following it, almost strikes that vehicle right there at uh, 31st Avenue. Now up on the sidewalk, riding up on the sidewalk. Very dangerous situation here. Uh, for both the, the vehicular traffic and for pedestrians that would be in this area crossing the roadways. Now, again, we've got a vehicle that's uh, blocking it right now as it continues to work its way westbound. We're coming up to the warehouse districts that are on the east side of Hialeah as we cross over into Hialeah. And we can hear on the radio right now that they are asking for assistance from the Hialeah Police Department, uh, asking them to put some assets out here to uh, try to get this vehicle to, to pull over. So. The vehicle now okay, up on the on the grass here, underneath the metro uh, rail uh, overhead uh, lanes there for the for the train that uh, runs on that. Now it's making a turn to go southbound and south south southbound now in Hialeah. We are now in Hialeah. I can see uh, they're they're saying it's southbound on 37 is what I'm being told. Southbound on 37 Avenue. There's a helicopter right on the left hand side of the screen there. Uh, uh, running uh, along with it now, giving out information to police officers about trying to bring uh, the subject of this vehicle, the driver of this vehicle, and whoever else might be inside uh, to get them to stop that vehicle. Continue to follow it as it goes southbound at 7-9 and um, now being told uh, about 3-3. 3-3 Avenue may run out of some real estate here pretty soon because some of these roads run into dead ends as you get into this Hialeah area where all these warehouses are. but. Uh, approaching 69th Street now. Now I'm told 67th Street continues. Yeah, 37 and 62 is the information we're getting at this where this vehicle is. Comes up on slower traffic here, going into the wrong lanes. Obviously, very dangerous maneuvers here, putting not only themselves but other uh, the civilians that are driving in this area in danger. So we're going to continue to follow uh, the vehicle. This uh, vehicle described as a uh, 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 black Dodge pickup truck that had, had been jacked up had uh, heavy springs and lifts, lifts the thing the vehicle off of the wheels there uh, you can see the black uh, exhaust smoke it's uh, very clearly defined here as it now is going eastbound and they're uh, about to put out information three uh, lost control there going off the roadway there nearly hits a parked vehicle now back on the roadway again we'll bring the camera out just a little ways to show you a little better uh, the uh, the neighborhood that we're in it's mostly most of this area right here are, uh, it's either residential on one side and, and warehouse on the other. Oh, oh, just missed that vehicle right there at that intersection. That's very dangerous, as we've indicated several times now, uh, hoping that this comes to an end peaceably, peacefully, but uh, we're just well, going to continue to follow yeah, it. Go ahead. As you can, it, it just tells you the mindset of this driver, the risk he or she is taking going the wrong way down a ramp off a highway, going down these residential streets, uh, zipping through red lights, stop lights, and flying, really, even though this is a warehouse district, there's all kinds of cars and pedestrians around. It's 4 o'clock. People are getting off work soon. A lot of school I buses mean, out there, too. There we go. There's Whoa. your crash. There there's you your crash. Right there. Uh, nearly, uh, well, obviously struck the, the guy's railroad running crossing off, there. The driver. We've got a guy that's jumped out now. He's going to be fleeing into this area here. They're going to put a perimeter up. We're going to continue to watch as best we can here as it goes through this area that looks like I got a, it's all pallets here, up. all uh, wooden pallets, uh, either, either uh, oh, yeah. A place where they store them or a place where they manufacture them. But right now, we saw the last place we saw this uh, suspect was uh, there he goes. Now he's running inside the building. So now they'll put a perimeter up around the, this building here. Going to keep an eye, just go widen the camera back out a little bit. But as you were just as you were saying, Lynn, there, a, obviously a very a dangerous, uh, dangerous situation here. Fortunately for uh, everybody else, he uh, did not. We got a police officer now running here through the through the back area. But we're going to bring the camera out a little wider here. If you guys spot him, uh, just you holler too and let us know. But we're looking here. Uh, so well, here. Into that warehouse. at least we know where he's at. Police know know where he's at. Uh, nobody else right, was involved, see, it right. appears. And like you said, they're going to put up a perimeter ASAP. And we know he's right. in one of those buildings. Right. Let me show you Lynn here, the top and bottom. And Jeff, the Lynn and bottom, the, he's telling that he's behind the pallets here. So what we've got is we've got all the police officers at the bottom of the screen. And then you'll see the police helicopter is right 
there at the top of the screen. I don't know if you can make it out there, but he's right at the top of the screen on the far side, which would be the north side of the railroad tracks. They're watching, waiting for somebody to come out. What they'll do now is if they've secured this area, they'll get a, a couple of canine officers with their dogs, and they'll bring those dogs in here, and they'll go right to them. They'll go right to that area. But again, uh, this all happening. Uh, let me see here. There's Okay, I can give you a, good, a pretty good locator here. I'm going to bring out, bring the camera back out just one more time here until we get the takedown. If we do get a takedown, that's the Walmart, upper right-hand corner, 27th Avenue, uh, right off of 27th Avenue. Uh, I'm sorry, 37th Avenue and 79th Street. So again, the bailout occurred right here after this vehicle struck the wall, uh, struck the uh, pole, the uh, traffic control light for the railroad tracks. You saw the uh, uh, driver bail out of the vehicle. It appears to be. The I think only I see someone running out. If you can pan down, yeah, Ralph. If yeah. you can pan down to the left. To the left. There he is. There we go. Is that an officer? Might be an officer. Yeah, it's an officer. It's an officer, but okay, uh, we appreciate that. We use all the help we can get up here. Um, we're still just waiting right now. He's obviously, or it appears that he would, I'd say we, he's hiding inside that uh, warehouse there uh, where all the pallets are. We still have, I can look out, looking straight down my window, and I can see Florida Highway Patrol. I see county vehicles, more vehicles pulling up here uh, to assist in uh, trying to locate the driver of this vehicle. In the meantime, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, helicopter from Miami-Dade Police Stand Sentinel there uh, on the north side of the railroad tracks here. Again, I'm going to give you the address. I, I put it at 75th Street between 37th and 39th Avenue. That's uh, the warehouse there. And uh, we're keeping the camera medium to wide because if uh, someone uh, uh, runs in either direction out on the corners there, we want to make sure that we provide you with those pictures and we can keep track of it. And well, Ra Ra go, ahead. go ahead. No, you, Jeff. And Ralph, backtrack for us if you can. How did this all start? Again, you said that the we believe this truck was stolen earlier in the day. Uh, apparently, there was some impact with the police cruiser on that truck, but that's sort of what started all this, correct? Yes. Uh, initially, the call went out for a 315, where the uh, it's a, that's a call that means an officer needs assistance on an emergency basis, and, and you could hear in the officer's voice uh, him describing the truck and saying that the vehicle had fled from him. Uh, he, apparently other units in the area and maybe that particular officer too got back in their car and, and there was a pursuit that started. I, I don't have the exact origin of the or location where it started, but I, I believe that there were uh, Hialeah and Miami Lakes units from the county that were involved in it originally uh, where the vehicle was um, off of 57th Avenue and 154th Street. The, the vehicle ended up coming out onto the Palmetto at the Grantney and went northbound on the Palmetto Expressway and then around that big curb and they had actually had units set up at 67th Avenue waiting for it to go by and apparently uh, for some reason or another the ground units either arriving maybe the maybe the timetable was uh, you know 40 seconds off or 50 seconds off but they were able to get by and not uh, and uh, the driver was able to get by in that vehicle and it wasn't until uh, the vehicles uh, popped up as we were coming southbound at the, the Palmetto Expressway to turn on I-95. That's when we broke into program and you saw the, uh, that vehicle just driving so erratically and so fast on I-95 there, putting uh, everybody pretty much all that afternoon rush hour traffic, or the, yeah, I guess the rush hour started, rush hour traffic uh, at risk there. And it ended up all the way down here, down the I-95. Um, you saw that uh, illegal U-turn there on the I-95 and onto the uh, exit ramp at 95th Street and then westbound on 95th Street, southbound on 27th Avenue, and then all the zigzag. I'm sorry to interrupt. Can you zoom in a little bit on the bottom toward the police cars? Or there's activity. Okay. We believe there are officers walking around. There, there you go. go. Okay. They've got him. Very good. Thank you, guys. I was, I was yapping so much I wasn't concentrating on <laughs> well, that. Well, that was a very a quick customer. and successful apprehension. No one hurt, it appears. And they apprehended the subject maybe, what, four minutes after he ran into this uh, building? That's pretty yeah, incredible. Yeah, several minutes. So you've got the guy in custody. The vehicle is uh, stopped. It's going to, obviously, they got to call the railroad uh, uh, folks to come out here and uh, replace that uh, that crossing uh, signal there, but you do have the suspect in custody taking the hat off him now, frisking him, checking him out, making sure he has no weapons or any, uh, per, uh, take his personal effects there, and I guarantee you they're going to be processing him and taking him into custody. That's our story here in Skyforce. We're going to throw it back to you guys one more time. You know, we're always amazed uh, when we do these police chases. I, I want to say 100% of the time, they always get caught, you know, whether it's our helicopter following them or police helicopter following them. And this was a successful ending. It could have been a lot worse. And we were fortunate today because we saw how many close calls there were on the road. One right there is that jacked up Dodge truck uh, was speeding right past oncoming traffic, again, weaving throughout Miami-Dade County. Uh, we saw the police helicopter up overhead tracking this vehicle as, w as well, uh, trying to get cruisers in the 
right position to bring all of this to an end. But I believe you're about to see to the right of your screen, this is toward the end of this chase. You're about to see that black truck hit a railroad crossing, and then we see the suspect uh, jump out. There's that impact. He jumps right out and runs into that warehouse. To your left, that is the apprehension, the live picture that we are watching right now, a warehouse near the corner of 37th Avenue and 75th Street uh, in the Hialeah area. And again, you can see this coming to a safe end, presumably, um, there at that location, officers loading that suspect into the back of that police cruiser. You know, with this police pursuit going on for 40 or 45 minutes, you know, could have ended a number of ways. Incredibly, no other pedestrians were hurt, uh, it appears, and no other drivers were hurt. He just looks like lost control on that turn, maybe skidded into the dirt. I'm not really sure what happened, you know, divine intervention. Ended up crashing into that uh, and did himself in. And then, as you just saw, Jeff said, he just threw himself on the ground and it just started running. So, uh, pretty quick work from police in finding this guy when he ran into the warehouse. Uh, successful end to a police pursuit that started about 45 minutes ago, as Jeff just said, with a call. Uh, reference a stolen car. And of course, we have seven news crews on the scene right now. We actually saw that one point in the chase on I 95 southbound uh, where our seven news live truck was trying to kind of find out what was going on with the situation. But we do have reporters on this scene right now trying to gather more information. Of course, we want to find out the motive behind all this. We do believe this was a stolen vehicle. Uh, the vehicle stolen earlier in the day, uh, ending with this impact right here at this warehouse in Hialeah. Again, the suspect arrested a few moments ago. Uh, we're going to stay on top of this story and bring you new details details throughout the hour here at 4 o'clock and throughout the night as well. All right, as we continue 7 News at 4 o'clock right now, you are looking live at our nation's capital where we are now hours away from a national address by the president.